Good morning. Welcome to our bed. There's Caitlin. This is the view from our room. Not too bad. BGC, not too bad. Okay, so yesterday was kind of a fail because I used the wrong mic port thing for my microphone, so all the footage that I took yesterday had no sound. So, <laughs> um, maybe it, oh, this is really nice lighting. Anyways, um, so today, hopefully this will be a better day for um, vlogging and actually having people talk in the vlog. What did we do yesterday? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. So, um, we couldn't check into our Airbnb because like the earliest we could check in was like 1.30 in the afternoon. So then we had just dropped off our like luggage at the lobby at the place we're staying at. And then we like just wandered around. This was around, what, 2.30, 3 in the morning. Um, and then we were like trying to find a place to like kill time. But we wanted like air conditioning because it's just so hot. So my aunt, <laughs> we went to like um, the hospital and we just kind of like slept in the lobby until five. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was so funny, the guard was like, um... So my aunt said, like, oh, we're gonna go visit a patient. And he's like, oh, okay, so y'all go in. We go, like, walk around into, like, the little hallways. And then we go back out to the lobby, and then we, like, just slept on the couch. <laughs> and, like, the vacuum cleaner woke me up because there was a guy, like, cleaning the floors. So we did that, and we slept till five and then we went to Jollibee. There's a 24 hour Jollibee. It was Caitlin's first time trying Jollibee. It's so good. <laughs> and um, there's footage of that. It's just that there's no sound. So that's great. Um, so yeah, we had that. We had beef steak, which is my first time trying it actually. I haven't had that before. I usually get like the, the chicken joy or like the spaghetti or the palabok. So it's my first time trying that one. Um, so after that, we went to go see my cousin Atira Welly, um at her apartment, which is actually not too far from our Airbnb. And then we were there pretty early. It was around like 6.37 and they were still sleeping. So we <laughs> and Caitlin just sat in Aaron's playpen playing cards and we just like were just resting and chilling. And then Aaron finally came out and she's so cute. She's so adorable. She's so friendly. Usually most babies actually hate me, so that's a first that she actually likes me. She loves Caitlyn, who doesn't, so yeah. We played with Erin, we walked around with her morning walk. It was so hot. What time did we walk around? It was like nine? Eight, eight or nine, we walked around um, BGC. It was so hot already. And then we went back out at noon to go like help um, get groceries for Ate, and like, it was so hot. Oh my God, and then, so, Crossing roads here is is a is a kind of difficult. <laughs> they don't give two craps about you here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and Kayla almost got hit by the car like a, I don't know 50% of the time or maybe 80% of the time. We were probably like the car would just like come super close to you. Oh well, yeah, that that was smooth. It would be yeah, it would just come super close to you, and then they just don't stop. They like kind of just like skim you, you know. They just, they just don't stop. <laughs> so. Vlogging and crossing the road is not a good thing. <laughs> and then um, in the afternoon, we finally checked into our Airbnb, showered, and we went to the nail salon. I got my nails done, like manicure and pedicure, for like 550 pesos. You burned? Oh, oh bruised. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when we went to we went to three different nail salons. Um, the first one was actually quite nice and had gel, but it was um, full for the day, so we couldn't do that. The next one we went to smelled just so strongly of chemicals that I I don't think I could have breathed in it if we went. And then the third one we actually stayed at because had like a foot massage thingy, and but they only do regular polish, so I was like, okay, whatever. It was like 550 pesos, which is like what 13 dollars or something. So. We did that, um, me and my aunt got both our nails and, or hands and feet done, and then Caitlin just got her nails done, and then she also got a leg massage, cause, um, she was, like, waiting for us to kill time, cause by the time she was on her hands, like, 
we were still on our feet, so we did that. Um, but yeah, it was like just regular nail polish, so obviously with me and regular nail polish, it does not work out. Do you see that? Oh. Yeah. I mean, honestly though, you get what you paid for, so I'm not really complaining. At least my toes are good. <laughs> and then we... Went to go eat at Din Tai Fung! Ah, truffle pork! <laughs> so we also, I also took videos of that, but there's no audio. So, but we got like shots of everyone trying it for the first time. And like, I feel like we hyped it up so much. <laughs> Me and Kayla are like, truffle pork. Oh my god, we ate truffle pork. And, um, but they said it was pretty good. Actually, one of the titas was like, what is this? <laughs> Her reaction was really funny. Um, but yeah, so we we did that. We just had Din Tai Fung. Um, it was like five minutes from our Airbnb, so why not? And then, yeah, we just hung out for a bit. But yeah, we were like really tired. Hi, Dita. Hi, how about this? Yes. Okay, for sure. Uh, yeah, thank you. Are they here yet? Almost? Dita? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, Caitlin had um, Duyo and Champorado for the first time together, which is actually my first time as well. I, I eat Champorado, but like, not with Duyo, so that was, it wasn't bad, it's just really salty fish with chocolate rice pudding. But did you like it? Yes, it was very good. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> um, she also had bangos um, and tinola, or oh, chicken tinola, which are two of my favorite dishes, so. I'm glad that she liked it. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. But the titas were like giving us so much food and Caitlin and I don't really eat that much. And I'm just like, I gotta expand my stomach. But yeah. For some reason they're really shocked that we like we clean after ourselves. <laughs> Apparently they don't do that here. Like in the restaurant we were like cleaning up our trays at Jolly Bee and then they're like What are you doing? We're like, where's the garbage? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I recapped everything. I came early, slept in the hospital, met my cousins and my family. Part one of however many days we're here. Um, walked around BGC, super hot and humid. Yeah, and we had Din Tai Fung yesterday, so my truffle pork cravings have been satisfied for the past year, because it's been over a year since we had Din Tai Fung. And that was like the first thing that Kayla and I were planning to do anyway. <laughs> I'm just glad it was so close to our Airbnb. <sighs> yeah, it was good. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see where this day takes us because I have no idea where we're going in Manila. We'll take you along with us. My hair is... What happened to my hair? Oh, there's like a kink. Keelan's hair is up, which is a first because I never see it up. It's a good bun. Mm -hmm. Look at you go. So stylish. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. These luggages, Pasa Lubong. Pasa Lubong. Yep. We literally have like, this is our thing, and then Dita Sarah has like my one medium luggage that's full of the Baliwag Pasa Lubong. So look how nice it is. They're gonna be like, they're gonna open the door. Hello! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're so grown up now. Hi, Hi. Nina! We have Patrick has a beard. He has a beard. Hello. How would I call you? Joy or Majoy? You can call whatever, whatever you like. You can call me whichever. Okay. And respond to both. Yes, and you are? Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay. This is for dad's purpose, so you can say hi. Hi, good job, man. You should be here. <laughs> uh,
Sige, okay, 18 pa natin, Jay. We don't look the same, though. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, sorry, dear. Chicken, beef, and human. Oh my god, my god. That's why. It's super hot. It's hot, but it's hot. Yeah. I know. Good. <laughs> like that? Mm. <laughs> oh, this market though. Let's go walk. like open every Saturday morning it has Sally's last name on it so it's like a Salcedo market so yeah so hot I'm like red I'm like scratching so we're going back into the van now Drive don't worry don't worry my driver is so good yeah. no I'm not worried about that I worry for everybody else but I went to my our driver is an ex-astronaut I am the tour guide. <laughs> okay, so we are at the Rizal Park. <laughs> so this is your Lolo Pepe, your Lolo Joe. <laughs> Sorry, national hero. We got to the statue. So this is Lolo Joe. <laughs>
Jose Rizal going to. Oh, yeah. So we're going backwards. Yes. Oh. No, you're walking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like this. Yeah. I don't know. I do I don't know. So these are like the steps that he went to go where? To go over there? Yeah, before he gets shot. Oh, before he got shot. Okay, wait, I, I don't actually know the history of it. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, Embarrassing. Wait, wait, wait. Are you a local? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> He's a small man. He's small, like me. So we're just basically following the steps to where he got executed. crashed a wedding at the Manila church. <laughs> We're both very hot right now. I only know this church is because like <laughs> some YouTubers went here. Of course, that's typical of me. Where did everyone go? Oh, they left us. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> they're leaving us behind. This is how I get lost. <laughs> like that though. Oh, yeah. 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 Killed me in the 
alternative universe. There's high more alternative universe. But does death really mean anything? Like it, it's supernatural and never means anything. I know, but even like half the people are dead on the show, so we can go to heaven, we can go to hell, and Kevin can be there. So honestly, anything can happen. That's very true. So I'm hoping they'll kill me again a couple of times. You just have to come back. Okay. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Joy. Yeah, of course. Hey Sally, uh, I really, you got a mic and everything. I That's do. really cool. Yeah. Hey Sally, is she? Are you in Calgary? Oh, why? Why, why don't you let Sally I, answer for herself? Because uh, because she's she not here. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> well, hi, hi Sally. Anyways, you should have joined in on the trip. Do we trip to to the Philippines? Why not? She's, um, she has a performance. So yeah, she couldn't wait. What kind of performance? She's a, she's like a musician, so she has like a night market. Right now, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright. Yeah. Forgiven. Yeah. All is forgiven. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holly, Holly. We didn't go to Green Hills. Tran, guys. So now the actor is <gasps> behind you. That's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what my movie is. Yeah, what's your movie about? Uh, you didn't make a movie uh, I was just following the script. I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going to see our? <laughs> Where are we going to <laughs> Thank you for the Canadian dollars. to 12 in the evening right now um we i don't even remember what the last little bit was for the from the vlog but 
we are now in Tita Vicky's house um, in Bulacan. Um, and we're just staying here for the night and then we're heading back to Manila tomorrow. Um, so yeah, today we basically went to Manila. Oh, I'm blanking out. <laughs> I look like death, probably. Caitlin's coming. <laughs> um, yeah, so we went to Intramuros and we went to go see like the um, Fort Santiago where it's like the history of Jose Rizal, which is like, what do you call him? Like the revolutionary yeah he's like a revolutionary icon in the philippines because like well i guess for most filipinos you would know but i did not know this that like he was the one who basically started like the revolution against the spaniards since we were like colonized for like 300 years from spain so he's the one who started like the kind of like separation from them so it's pretty cool to see like his journey and stuff and that he was like a a doctor and everything and um we like there's like had these steps that um like showed where he was walking to be executed and stuff which is pretty cool and then after that we actually before that we went to Rizal Park so we saw a statue the two guards were there and then we went to Sa Fort Santiago and then after that where did we go after that mm -hmm. oh yeah we went to the Manila Cathedral we crashed a wedding. There was a wedding there. It was a very social wedding. Um, Crazy rich Asians. What? Crazy rich Asians. <laughs> Crazy rich Asians. <laughs> ah! um, yeah, so we went there. Yeah, we kind of like low-key crashed a wedding. And then we went to San Augustine Chapel. We just like, you know, kind of like looked at the, the, the door. It's a really big door. It was a very nice door. Um, then we found like the eco bamboo bike tour thing but like Kate and I were wearing sandals and like the road was like cobblestone so no bueno um, but it was cool to see the bike and then after that we went to Aristocrat to eat lunch late lunch yeah, yeah late lunch we had so much food okay let's see if I can name them all there was Sinigang Hipon Sinigang Bangos which is like so good um we had there's yeah, he's sick. <laughs> we had Pancit Canton. We had uh, the chicken barbecue, like their signature chicken barbecue. It's pretty good with like Java sauce with peanuts. That's the first. Um, what else? Oh, we had, uh, yeah, and Sagot Golaman, which is like that drink. We had Lecha Fan, which is a given so good it was so creamy and good i love lecho flan and um we had like this really we had, oh yeah we had like kuya patrick had coconut and then when he finished the water he like asked them to cut it in half and we just ate the meat out of it and then okay this is a joy moment but um i so there's like this actor and he's in supernatural and he's in makati um producing a movie and he was um, he posted on Instagram that he was holding a meetup. So typical me, of course, I, I want to go see him. And um, the actor in Crazy Rich Asians was also there because um, he's also producing that movie with him. So they decided to hold a meetup and I don't know why I thought it was in Green Hills. I still don't know the reason. Probably thought it was like Green Belt and then Hills and anyways. Um, we were on our way to Green Hills, and good thing I checked my phone to see where it was, and I showed Kuya Patrick, and he's like, this is in Makati, this is not Green Hills, and I was like, uh, but we still managed to, like, make it in time, it was a lot closer than Green Hills, so we finally got to Landmark, where the meetup was going to be, and we actually got to meet them, and Caitlin being, like, the best friend ever, just took pictures for me, and took videos and stuff, so we got to meet Chris Pang from Crazy Rich Asians, and we got to meet Osric Chow from Supernatural, aka Kevin Tran, aka The Prophet, aka like the coolest guy on earth who loves mangoes. And he like talked to us about mangoes for like a good, <laughs> what, like the whole half conversation. And then when I actually met him, like we were like shaking hands for the majority of our conversation. He's so sweet. Oh, he's so nice. And he was like saying that he wanted to move here in, in Makati and stuff. And like he's from Canada in Vancouver. So obviously he's there and like Supernatural's filmed there so but yeah he is such a sweetheart it was so nice to meet him and like I don't know 
every time after a meet and greet, I just get colleagues. So let's get the feels. And he's just so nice. And then we made our way to mm -hmm. Bulacan. And that took a while because um, it was traffic. That's not surprising really though. We went through Edza. I understand the, all those Edza jokes now. I understand why they refer to that so much. Um, yeah, but me and Caitlin like fell asleep throughout the whole ride. And the next thing I know we were at grandpa's house. And I was like half asleep talking to grandpa and Tita Nilds. And I was just like, I didn't know what was going on. And then she showed Caitlin pictures of me when I was a baby that she still had. And then we went to a party. Um, and that's where I met like all my other relatives that I also did not know. Um, it was kind of like a reverse situation now because everyone's taking pictures with me and I didn't know who they were. So that was interesting. And we had food. We had, what was that brandy called? I think it started with like a T. Oh, it's an O. Clearly I was not there when I was drinking this. We had like had it like on the rocks and I was just like, I don't know, you liked it. I mean, you didn't, I don't know if you liked it, you just drank it. Yeah, it was okay. I feel like after the first sip, it just like, you couldn't taste it anymore. She had like the straightest face and then every time I take a sip, I'm just like, this is, uh. but it was like, I, I definitely need a chase for that, for me. It was just, yeah, it's too much. And then, what else? Did, oh, and yeah, after that we just, we just went to Tita Vicky's house and now we're here. And we talked to Tita Tintin and Tita Kate about Canada and stuff. And now we're going to bed, cause then tomorrow, yeah, we're leaving whenever, I guess we wake up. I should probably set up the alarm. What do you want time when we wake up? Eight, seven? Yeah. Eight? Okay. Girl, I'm at <laughs> you mean six thirty? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably put my alarm. If I wake up, you wake up. Yeah, true. <laughs> Start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly though, this morning when my alarm was like um going off, I thought it was like in my dream. No, it was on for a really long time and I was just like <laughs> <laughs> I didn't She'll know. I was actually. like I just like heard it and I'm just like, wait, what? It was, like, a good song, so I was like, whatever, I'll just leave. <laughs> yeah. Most of my alarms are songs. Anyways, yeah, so that was the summary of our day. It was very eventful. We've only been, this is like our second day and I feel like we've been here for five. How are you enjoying it? How's your experience in the Philippines? It's good. Your family's really nice <laughs> and the food is very good. I was a little hot today, but that's because I wore a long sleeve shirt. You didn't get burned? But I didn't get a sunburn. I didn't get a tan either, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Oh, and we go to the beach. Beach days are almost soon. Oh yeah, sad update. We're not going to El Nido anymore. <sighs> but maybe it's just not meant to be this time. Mm -hmm. There's round two. But there's always like a whole bunch of other beaches. And there's then a tropical storm coming. Yeah, there's a typhoon this week. And I'm just like, great. It is typhoon season slash monsoon season, so. Yeah, okay. This is me and Kate, KJ Adventures, signing out for tonight, day two of Philippines 2018. It's been pretty successful. We got to meet a famous person. We had to meet two famous people and I just made my day. I never thought I would actually meet them like ever. And like I, I don't know. I just love meeting famous people. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> She's like, every time you meet famous people, it's, it's always with me. <laughs> Cause I'm the one who always meets famous people. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. Oh, and then tomorrow I think yeah, so when we're, we're gonna go back to Manila, we're gonna go to Moa and meet my other cousin, Auntie Jen, with her baby, and just hang out with her for the day, and then, I don't know what we're doing after that, but we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, we're signing out. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night, night. <laughs>